Hello gamers and welcome back to episode 6 of Untold Craft. Yeah, let's get into today's episode. Today's episode, in my opinion, is a good one. I think we get some very essential things done. And then we're pretty much caught up, which I'm excited for, because there's like five or six things I've been holding off and recording that way I can sit down and actually edit. Gotta get that editing going. But yeah, we're almost done collecting everything down here. Lots of resources, lots of resources. I'll probably pick up in the next episode with actually showing all these resources. That would be fun. That would be fun. I can't wait for everyone to be caught up. All right, so without further ado, go grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, grab your snacks, grab your... XL TV viewing experience or VR viewing YouTube experience. I don't know what's out there these days. Whatever. Just grab it. Just grab it. Oh, grab your kids. Grab your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your wife, your husband, your significant other. Grab everybody. Grab your grandparents, your parents. It's time to watch a Damage Free Untold Craft video. Grab them all. <laughs> Alright, alright, without further ado, make sure to punch that like button, wind it up, wind it up, wind it up, smash that sub button, drop a comment down below, as well as go ahead and head over to the YouTube community page and vote on some things going on within the community. Alright, let's get into today's episode. Look at this. Look at this. Look how bright this is. Look at this. There's no monsters here. It's bright. This is what I want to see. Torches everywhere. Every nook, every cranny, every place to sit down, you put a torch in. How hard is that? It looks so much better here. Look, remember like literally the last clip when there's 5,000 mobs here? Where are they? Huh? That's right. They're gone. They don't want to mess with my torches. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. I think I might have forgot. No, we, we even got over here. Look at this. This is professional. This is a professional torch job. If you've been torched and it hasn't been like this, it's not professional. This is a professional torch job. We even got to get this island here. Oh, I'm not wearing my uh, elytra. Uh, 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 let's, let's redo the take. Man, there is so many mobs. Like... Man, people that don't torch everything up, wh who hurts you in life? That you just want to be surrounded by all these mobs? Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't work under these conditions. I can't build under these conditions. I don't care that torches are ugly as hell. I'll get- I'll fix it later. Well, when we make this a nice city, a beach steampunk city looking out over everything, we'll fix the torches, but until then, it's just not worth it. There's just so many mobs. Like, get away from me. Get away. Get away. Like, look at this. This area here has been under mob control since I built that platform. So, just about a week now. And look at this environment. Okay, I get it. Minecraft natural gin. Not the best. You need terraforming, and you need a lot of terraforming. Fully understand this. But, like, look what the mobs did. Is this a full cave, or is it just... Okay, it's just, like, a little thing here. Let's get the coal, actually. This place about to be bright. Brighter than a star. People are gonna come over here and make wishes. Because they think they're going to be wishing upon a star. It's just going to be my light, my bright land. With no mobs. Alright, I've spent way too much time and way too much coal. <laughs> torching everything. And I still want to do a little bit more here. It's kind of ridiculous how much time I've spent torching stuff. I'm probably going to go throughout here as well. Like all the way throughout here and probably up through here that way I can be like all over my home here and where I'm like working and not have to worry about a single mob <laughs> the amount of coal I've hold on S statistics you know what I'm trying to record 
Go blow someone else. I, I mean, blow up on s someone else. Go, go blow up on someone else. Okay, options, statistics, where are we? Items, uh, mind used. Torches, 5,000. Name someone who puts in that work. 5,000 torches. Hmm. Hmm. Let me know. Who, who got that work? No one. No one. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Torch master up in here. Damage Fury. Torch master. You need something torched, you call Damage Fury. That's just how it works. Alright, another update. <laughs> it's been a couple Minecraft days. This is all lit up now. I need to start working throughout here. I might take this a little further out. I don't feel like I need to go that way at all. I feel like I just wanted to get the coast here because if you see I'm going to be up there. I'm kind of going to be building out there. But I definitely want to go get kind of further this way here. But I've gone through <laughs> so many torches. So many torches. And I'm going to hit all of this too. Like what are you doing if you play Minecraft and you don't just torch everything? Like why do you have to feel so proud of yourself <laughs> like life is so nice you saw how many mobs were out here i can just chill right here like perfectly i know it's ugly but like look at all the mobs up there it's just not fun it's just not fun this is so much better this is so much better <laughs> best decision i've ever done <laughs> Might get some of the coal out of the uh, economy, too. <laughs> I think when it comes to diamonds, I don't think I'm in first anymore. But I think when it comes to coal and iron... Not, like, iron, um, because people have iron farms. But when it comes to, like, the ores, I think in everything but diamonds, I am number one. Because a lot of people have been kind of thinking about what I've been thinking about. We've been trying to figure out, like, how... Because, okay... Let's go into this. So, obviously, we've been recruiting for the server, right? One of the things we've done is we've put a lot of things out there like, hey, looking for creators, you know, of all sizes, right? We've had a, we've had great creators reach out, you know? And some of them are, like, with 30 subs. And I'm like, okay, I was there once. You know, I'm only at 2K now. I'm not, I'm not cool. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not cool. I'm still a loser. So that's awesome. And uh, hopefully those work out even with the smaller ones. Um, but anyways, we've had a lot of interactions with these groups of creators uh, or I don't want to say groups of creators sometimes we'll just have people like reach out they'll be like hey well I'll build on the server I'm like well that's not really what the title says but I appreciate your time and effort or like we'll see other servers that are doing it and there's a lot of there's so many mobs <laughs> there's a lot of people that are really into the economic side of minecraft like servers and i didn't know this like there's a lot of people there's so many mobs are uh, how <sighs> it's getting so bad because mobs are only spawning out where i'm at because behind me here they can't spawn you know <laughs> but one of the things coming up is all these like economic servers and for the most part you know there'll be a cash plugin or something like that right for the most part but there's some servers that we're coming across some really interesting things. And it's really cool. It's really cool. We're definitely going to give credit where credit's due. But <laughs> it's really cool. There's a lot of really cool things that we're going to be working on and doing. Um, there's going to be data packs, though, definitely to display some stuff and things like that that we're talking about. So it's going to be really cool. It's going to be really, really cool. All right, I'm going to go sleep and then go back to placing torches. Because I've been at this for like an hour and a half now. Like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. I am torching everything. <laughs> and I've been at this for so long. Like, it, it's not even a joke. Like, it's 100% what's going on right now. And it's bad because I'm going to have to torch up here as well. Like, where torches have been removed by me for the most part. But like, I'll see places where, I'm, where zombies spawn and stuff like that. When did this get here? That wasn't me. I'm pretty sure that was shrimp. 
Oh yeah, all the cats up here are named. <laughs> They're no longer my cats. Is this one named? Yeah, Socks, okay. I'm gonna sleep and keep doing my torches. <laughs> I will eventually be done with this. <laughs> what did you spend an entire recording session doing on Minecraft? Torching? Wait, what, what, do, you, what do you mean by that? I'm <laughs> Torching my base, torching everything I could find. All right, so <laughs> we are working on placing torches. Still, still. Remember when I was making the joke that this would last the entire session? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Let's go up and look. Uh, I have more torches. Yeah, we're good. All right, so the torch placement, as everyone saw, it's gone all the way over here. We're good this direction. I thought about moving this out a little bit more, but I think, honestly, with the height of that, I think it's going to be okay there. I took out all of this. This is all now torched when chunks don't load in. This is now all torched. It comes up here. It gets this entire mountain here. It swings around. It gets all the way over here. Like, it swings massively over here. And I'm working this direction now. I'm working this direction now. So I'm working through this forest here. I'm probably going to go up to like right here and straight this way. <laughs> but uh, on the whole, you know, placing torches, we're past 11,000. You need something torched, you call Damage Fury. Yeah. Torch Master. absolute torch master <laughs> that needs to be a thing i need to make that a thing <laughs> hey diamonds and i don't have my i don't have my silk touch pit oh, of course i don't that's my luck i ended up in this cave because i was torching kind of a surface cave and it kind of just went straight down <laughs> it was like literally connected to parts of the surface i was like you know what monsters could just come from in there i followed it down like barely at all i also thought it was another good way to get some coal because i am quickly running out of coal like quickly like the amount of coal that i've gone through is <laughs> kind of ridiculous so it's kind of an idea to like multitask get that done because i will eventually have to do that anyways and get rid of the chance that mobs come from the surface. And I was like, you know what, I'll just follow this down for a second. And of course, we got diamonds. I need to come back and get those. I actually need diamonds right now pretty bad. I would come back and get them anyways, but like I'm saying, I need to uh, silk touch them because I need them pretty bad. I need them pretty bad. I need to make sure the potential is maximized. Alright, so I might be done torching finally. Like, everything is very bright. I didn't go as far this way out as I did over here, obviously, because the creeper farm's over here. And the base is more over here, but I kind of went a decent far out here, so I don't think any mobs are going to mess with me. I feel like we've done it. How many torches did we end up making? Statistics, items... We placed 12,000. <laughs> so, that number was at 2,000 before I started this, so we placed 10,000 torches tonight. I used up a lot of coal. <laughs> So much coal was used in the making of this, but we're a lot safer here now, which is really good. We don't have to worry about mobs whatsoever. The next thing I'm actually going to work on... Well, there's a couple things I need to work on. I think I really need to move this, though, to be 100% honest. 
Like, that would be really, really good to go ahead and move this out. Um, I don't know if I will do that here. Our iron supply is growing. Our coal supply took a massive hit. Our diamond supply is pretty empty. Even though we do kind of have everything else with it. We need to farm more elytras, obviously. Redstone we could use. I think the next thing that I really need to work on is probably villagers, maybe? Yeah, it's probably going to be villagers. It's probably time to actually do some building for once. <laughs> does this cat have a name? Probably does, right? Yep. Alright, so I think it is villager. Villager work time. Yeah, I think it's time. I think it's time. Alright, let's get to building. I'm gonna finish off this other side here, just like this one. And... Well, and then I'll be back. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> let's get to it. Oh man, it's not night. I did a little bit more torching since the last clip. And I wanted to talk about how I am the Torch King. You bring up the Minecraft Dictionary of Legendary Players, you will see Torch King Damage Fury. Torch King Damage Fury. That's what you will see. That's what you'll see. Torch King Damage Fury. Look at this. All torched. You need something torched, you call Damage Fury. You need to torch a cave, you call Damage Fury. You need to torch literally the entirety of the world, you torch Damage Fury. Oh, you call Damage Fury, you don't torch me. I'm not torchable, I am the torch! Look at this beautiful world. It's all torched. Every inch of it. Torch King, Damage Fury! I've never noticed how weird this tree looks. <laughs> Alright, now it's obviously time to become Build King Damage Fury and Villager King Damage Fury. I'm out of rockets. Fun. Really fun. Alright, I'm gonna do some building. It's time. To build. Yeah! Ah. <sighs> For people that didn't see the stream. Uh, uh, there, there's there's something going on, on out there. We'll we'll be back later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I don't see a name tag here this time. Alright, let's, let's see what's here. Good luck getting Feather Falling. What is this? Aww. Yes, thanks for the Elytra. Aww, that's really nice. Oh, that's so sweet for... I don't know what <laughs> I'm having a hard time keeping uh, track of what clips I put where right now. But that will get better. But just in case, I gave him a... I, I went up there and I gave him an Elytra because he was out of an Elytra. And he returned the favor. Aww. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. <laughs> Aww. It's actually so nice. That's awesome. It's like truly awesome. I appreciate it. <laughs> I was so mad. I like I actually like just turned off the stream. <laughs> I was just done. I was just done. I lost not one, but I lost two trying to recover it. And part of the reason why is when I went back to recover it, I didn't have rockets the first time. And the second time is I didn't have food. So by the time I made it there, I had no hearts and I died. And that actually happened a couple different times. So I'm going to have to do something about it. And while I'm sitting here editing, I'm probably going to be chilling trying to get food going. I, I guess I'm just going to need the biggest, like, fattest food selection in the world. 
I guess that's what I'm going to need. Okay, so here's one set of armor. Do I have another set down here? I, I have to have another set, right? Like, there's no way around it. I have to have another set. Okay. The amount of Endermen that I've killed <laughs> has gone up 5,000. Last time it took me 30,000. I've actually been kind of lucky so far. <sighs> on books, you know, kind of lucky on books so far. But, I mean, here we go. Let's, uh, let's do quite a lot. Fire protection. What do we got? Feather falling four. There we go. Power four. Power four. Protection. Th See, we've been... I've actually been so lucky right now. Like, actually, I've been ridiculously lucky. Power three. Fire protection three. Lure 2, power 3, efficiency 4, infinity, oh, I just threw that book out, protection 3. This should not take as much as it did last time. It's still probably going to take another, like, 10,000 endermen at least, most likely. This ha Two aqua infinities back to back. Three aqua, and a sweeping, is that a sweeping edge 3? It is. It is. We've been so lucky. I'm not throwing out my food. We have been so lucky. All right, that's all the levels I have for now. Like, actually, I've been so lucky. This should be good. I'm going to probably end up filling up, well, quite a lot of chests full of books. <laughs> ah, yeah. All right, does anyone want to see how broke I am? These are my last five diamonds. Right here. And I have Damage Fury Second Blade. It hurts. Physically hurts. Physically hurts. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So my gear is called Emperor's Helmet, Chest Plate, Emperor's Pants, and Emperor's Shoes. And then in here to keep with my Doom Squad kill, obviously we still have Cat's Bane, but to keep with Doom Squad kill, we now have Doom, the entire set of just Doom. That's what it's called. <sighs> I actually got pretty lucky this time. I've only had to kill, believe it or not, <laughs> 12,000 Endermen. That's it. Last time took me about 18,000 to go ahead and get everything done. My weapons are not done yet. I'm getting really sick and tired of being here. Uh, wait, can I not? Oh. Ah, man. Okay, well, I'm going to be down to like... Nothing. <laughs> Let's try the bow. Okay. I, I can... Hold on. Let me, let me see. Let me see what do we get here. Flame power, three and breaking. Okay. I can put these together. We're going to call this... Wolf... Rider. So I need mending on this. I need punch two. Do I have a punch two? I actually got a lot of good ones here. Like, I was really lucky. Like, I cannot believe how lucky I am. I still have two Feather Falling books left over. Like, actually. I was ridiculously lucky. Like, absolutely the best luck. Okay, I'm gonna have to go either make a pick. Well, I have other picks, right? I think so. I might have Punch back home. There's the other Feather Falling. I cannot believe how lucky I got. Two extra Feather Falling books. Like, that's... We got a lot of Unbreaking and Power 4 and... What's... what's a, I got a lot of Banner Arthropods 4. I got a lot of these 4s here. Um, I did get a Channeling, though, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. We did get a, pr a couple protection threes, some sharpness threes, no sharpness fours, I don't think. I'm gonna go and take, uh, I really can't take this stuff home. <laughs> uh, well, okay, I'll be, I'll be back. How about that? I'm almost done, I'll be back. I've been at this, by the way, for about six hours now. About an hour of that was spent trading with piglins, which means I'm back to being out of gold. Like, I'm literally almost out of lapis, too. Like, I'm, I'm, I need to go mining. 
gearing up is the worst experience. Period. Like it, it's it's bad. <laughs> like it hurts. <laughs> it physically hurts. Main, mainly because I already had all the gear. I've learned my lesson, okay? I need tons of food. I need tons of potions. I need backup rockets. I need everything. I need to truly get fully geared up because I, I can't do that again. I can't be working on a project, fall in the lava, lose both my sets because I don't have food to heal up or whatever, or potions to keep myself alive. Like, I need to go ham. And I think one of the ways I'm going to go ham is I'm probably going to summon in the dragon here for the damaging arrows. I've been told they do more damage. <laughs> I've been told they're good to have out. And I'm still here parked at Loserville. Which is actually good. Actually, hold on. Wait, was that a name? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, do I still have my diamonds here and gold? <gasps> oh, I do. Oh, I'm not completely broke. Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so good. I need to finish this. Um, I also need to go mining, so what I might do, actually, which is actually something I've thought of, is I'm going to maybe dig down and, like, completely, like, clear. Because I have the beacon here, so I just have to adjust this down then I can just, like, harvest all the diamonds here. I also need wood. I need a lot of things. <laughs> I, just, I just... I need to farm. I'm trying to build too much too quick. I just need to take it back, relax, farm, get prepped. That way things like today in today's stream don't happen on a constant occurrence. What hit me? Oh, a phantom. Okay, let's sleep. Here I am. I went a little further out this time. As I didn't want to get lost in the same maze, I felt like maybe I'd have better luck a little further out. Don't know if that's going to be the case. But it's time to get to work. I need... I think I need four... Four more? I brought both my efficiency picks. <laughs> if I die to lava... I'm going to be a little sad. You know, just a little sad. This is fun. Kind of. I've never really gotten the part of bed mining. I get it's the most efficient thing. But it just doesn't seem that good. <laughs> like every time I'm, I worry that I'm going to blow myself up. Like on repeat. Like I am so worried about that. Ridiculously worried about that. I know there's like a way that like you can bypass it. Oh, <gasps> we're done. That's two. That's two. Oh, <gasps> it's three. Oh, I still have five beds. Okay, let's keep going. I don't know how I feel about netherite overall. Still. I definitely want to get a massive amount of it. I feel like it, it's going to be another thing like the elytras. That if done right... Could be the reason why... Ooh, shiny! Could be the reason why... I could steal the presidency. Well, dictatorship. Honestly, I think you find it closer to bedrock. Like, I've been doing it at 15 before, but I've been really successful here uh, doing it down here by bedrock. Like, really successful. As you can tell, I now have six with one set of beds. Actually, that's not, I mean, is that too crazy? Oh, don't get crushed, don't get crushed. Okay, we're, we're done. Let's get out of here. Let's get out.
Okay, let's put this on. Ow. Okay, let's let's Oh, that was almost so bad. Okay, I dug straight down. I think it was here, right? Is this where I dug straight down? I think I I'm pretty sure it was. Wait. Am I not I I don't understand this flying thing. I I really uh, I do not understand this flying thing. Ah, uh, we're free. Also, this was so close to my base. Like, I am so close. You know how I went that way? I should have gone this way. There's also this bastion here, though. But, oh, actually, there's still gold here. Oh, oh my. Okay. And that's episode six, gamers. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Our heroes lost everything. Again. Or is that the first time? I can't remember. If not in episode 7, I will be losing everything again. There's a little sneak peek into the future. And the word to describe losing all my stuff? Frustration. I haven't done it in a little bit, though. I can say because, well, this is the future. So there is a little bit of a period there where I don't actually lose everything. And we're still on that period. So that is really good to know. So hopefully the frustration ends... And that video really did not go as planned. Felt like I was supposed to include all of the torching footage there. So hopefully everyone found that pretty funny and enjoyed that. Because I actually had a lot of fun recording that footage. Like, re recording that footage was very... Hey, diamonds! Was very fun and something that I really enjoyed. So hopefully everyone else did too. Because it was a blast. It was truly a blast at the end of the day to record that. And yeah, that's it. That's the episode. Stay tuned for episode 7, which is coming out soon. It should be about two days when you gamers see this footage. On my end, it's going to be a little different, obviously. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to hit that like button. Wind up your fist. Wind it up. Come on. Get it going. Get it going. Get it going. And punch that sub button. That way you're a part of the... Damage army? Damaged army? No, da dealing damage army? Eh, you'll figure it out in the comments. I don't have to do that. You'll figure it out in the comments. <laughs> and with that, leave a comment down below to let me know what you think of the series so far and what, if any, feedback you have. I do want to say that we are currently looking for data pack people. We're looking for people to write stories. We're looking for other creators to make content. So if you're any of the above or interested whatsoever, let me know down below in the comments and we'll work it out and we'll get everything going. I also do want to say that I appreciate it. The support I've seen with the series means the world to me and I appreciate it with all my heart. It means literally so much to me and I'm so happy that you guys are my viewers and I... You guys are awesome. Each and every single one of you that watched this video is awesome. So thank you so much. And I will talk to everyone in the next episode. Bye.